Hello, Ichigo. How are you doing today? I'm just a computer program, so I don't have feelings or emotions like humans do. I don't get tired or experience stress. I'm always on and ready to help you with any questions or tasks you have. I don't need to sleep or take breaks, so I'm always available to assist you. This is Ichigo. A real-time voice interaction and multimodal processing. Ichigo have the capability of understanding and listening to the human speech and responding to it in a real-time voice interaction. And the model can transcript the idu file to text and I'm gonna show you this also in a code. It have uh, the capability of contextual understanding. It means that it can understand and follow the conversation that's the basically having with and finally what make it great it's a completely open source model so you can download it and use it on your local machine or using it in your application hey Echigo, can you tell me about yourself a little bit what you can do and what you cannot do i'm a large language model i can understand and respond to natural language inputs answer questions provide information and even create text based on a prompt I can also help with tasks like writing, proofreading, and suggesting alternative phrases or words. However, there are some things I can't do. I'm not a human, so I don't have personal experiences, emotions, or physical abilities. I can't see or hear, and I don't have the ability to interact with the physical world. I also can't browse the internet or access real-time information. So my knowledge is limited to what I was trained on. Ichigo is an early fusion between the audio and text. It's a multimodal, as I said, and they're right now working on improving it and making it even better. This is a blog post talking about what they did in the training, like the phase one. They took it from only one English to a dataset and trained it on a dataset that have seven different languages. It's on Hagen phase. The seven languages are English, German, Dutch and Spanish, French, and Italian, and Portuguese, and Polish. So basically, the all the European main languages are trained on. The second phase, it took it and improved its speech modality and improved the quality of its performance. The third phase is actually really cool because it teach each good to say, I cannot hear you. This is the final phase they trained on that the objective of it was to teach a model to recognize and respond to an audible inputs like if the mic is not correct or your far your voice is too far or you're talking very fast it would tell you I cannot hear you this is really cool I'm gonna leave the blog post of course link so you can read it they compare it to the Lama 3.1 Instruct 8B in terms of original performance. And uh, this is the Achigo current phase 3 training, which is right here, is just behind the Lamas 3.1 8B instruct. So it's trained on the 8B model, which is the smallest model from the Lamas 3.1 family. So you're here talking about the next steps of training this model. It's weak to nonsensical audio and multi third conversation. Multi-language capability hasn't been fully explored. That means you're going to add more languages. You're gonna improve the data sets, better, longer prompts, filtering out non speech perfect data. There is really impressive project and it's kind of very brand new. I really hope that people support it. So, this is a collab notebook that I found attached to the Reddit post that I found on Local Llama. It shows you how to install it and work with it. You need to install all the stuff I, it's already created for us. I didn't write any single line of this code. The, Install two different voices over here. The first one will ask it to create a Bison code, and the second one will ask it to write a story. And the first step they doing in this collab notebook, they converting the audio file to a sound token, just like breaking text to symbol words, so that LM can understanding. I think then the in can inference the model the same as any other LLM, so they're they sending the tokens to the LLM so it can be processed. And now here the code generation, which is for the first one, the code you the code Python script that wave, which is the first one installed. They're taking this sound token, which is the function they process the token into, and sending it inside a message like large language model, and then returning the code. As you can see here, this is the output of the first one, Python import pandas. 
and it's called alchemy and they're trying to create simple code for importing the csv file the second one is the same story due to sound tokens the right the right story which is the second sound you also send in it and here is the results once upon a time in a small village nestled between the mountains and the sea lived the young girl okay so so lately it's actually a decent story not that bad but i feel like it cut short feeling they would not i don't know what they would not and we can also make model run script the audio by adding reverse the special token 69 69 okay a token and this is mean it will basically take the audio that we bought inside the right story inside the right story instead of just technically take it and execute it it will take it and tell you what it said and it say write a story this is really cool for a simple code as i can see here the only function that we have means function that take the audio and turn it to a sound token which is this function they also left the code for the demo of ichigo over here in github it will tell you what it needs docker docker compose nvidia container no gs it's really cool. So you need then an OpenAI base URL, the tokenizer base. Okay, it's all the stuff. It's already set up for you over here. Build the project. Even giving us this kind of app over here. I think every single one of this interface will be there also. And the actual code of the Ichigo itself, the local real-time voice AI, formerly known as the Lama 3S. I never heard about it. And if you want to install or download this model on your local machine, you can find it inside the Hagen Face Homebrew LLTD collection under the Ichigo family. And also they have a space, I think, in Hagen Face, but it seems like it's not the best place to test this model in. The best place I found was actually the demo of Ichigo itself. It have different uh, funny interface like this one is kind of web net and this one is kind of sphere like siri and this one is like <laughs> kind of silly to be honest <laughs> it look funny it's hosted on a one single gpu and it see here if you have more than three concurrent users you may experience increased latency which is actually uh, what's happening when i run it but it's impressive because it's hosted on just on one single gpu the 3090 and i don't have something like this good on my local machine so i really hope that people support this each go i'm gonna leave the links for every single thing that i found about this model let's just give it some love or talk about it on blogs or post it need a word out because this kind of models that we need to support more so we can get more out of it Hey Ichigo, can you create a meme or tell me a simple joke that is actually funny I heard you say that you want me to tell a joke? That's actually funny? Okay, here's one. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> okay, it's kind of funny. But I see it's a little bit buggy. I mean, like the interface is not correct over here, but the first one so far is this cute strawberry. And uh, I really like this model. So. That's it for this video. I don't want to take any more of your time, guys. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you valuable information, please hit the like and write a silly comment for the algorithm, not me. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you get more out of my videos. And thank you for watching and see you on the next video.